now that our front end is pretty much done, we get to move on and finally create our Rails application. This demo assumes that you're using uh, Rails 4.2 and Ruby 2.1.5. You can confirm what versions you have by doing uh, Rails-V and uh, Ruby-V. So I have uh, Rails 4.2.0 and Ruby 2.1.5. Uh, patch 273. If you don't have these exact versions, you potentially could run into problems. Uh, that said, you may be fine, but um, it's better to err on the side of caution. So uh, I would definitely recommend installing these versions if you have not already. So to begin our Rails application, we are going to create a new uh, Rails app. I'm in my code directory. So I'm just going to run uh, Rails new podcast underscore FM. And this will go and create all the files needed for our podcast uh, app. Then once that is done installing, uh, CD into the podcast.fm directory. And uh, first thing, let's do git init to initialize this in git. So if I do a git status by doing git s, uh, I can see all the untracked files, uh, which is every file at this point. So I'm going to do a git add all by doing git add dot and do a git status again. You can see all the uh, files are now green, which means they're added to the staging area. Let's uh, commit those by doing git commit dash am and I'll say initial commit. All right, so we are good. Uh, if you do another git status, you'll see uh, nothing to commit working directory clean. So uh, before we do anything else, let's uh, go ahead and push this up to GitHub. If I go over to Chrome and I go to uh, github.com, actually, uh, let me open up a incognito so I'm logged out. Let's go to github.com. Uh, if you don't already have an account, I would uh, definitely recommend uh, signing up and uh, using GitHub to manage your code. Uh, they are by far one of the best uh, when it comes to uh, Git control. If you need help getting started with Git, go to uh, Unicast and watch Screencast episode 14, Getting Started with Git and GitHub, and I go through the process of setting up Git and using it uh, in your Rails applications. So after you signed up, let's uh, go to GitHub. I'm going to go to my profile, uh, hit Repositories, and I'm going to create a new uh, repository. And I'm going to say podcast FM description unicast course podcast FM. And then this will be a public repository. And let's uh, create the repository. Oh, whoops. Let me bump up size so you guys can actually see it. Um, we are not creating a new repository, so we're going to do uh, push to push an existing repository. So I'm going to copy this line, git remote add origin, and then the path to this git file. Uh, let's go back to the terminal and paste that in. Now let's do git uh, push dash u origin master, and this will push up our code that we recently committed to uh, the GitHub repo. So now if we go to the podcast.fm uh, repo, you can see the initial commit we just made. Everything's up. Looks good. So the next thing I want to do is uh, let's open up another terminal window and uh, CD. Uh, I'll CD into my code directory and the podcast FM. I'm going to run the Rails. Whoops. Not the Rails console. Let's run the Rails server. And uh, let's go to localhost port 3000. All right, welcome aboard. We're writing Ruby on Rails. So if you click about your application, you can see like the Rails version, Ruby version, etc. It uh, just gives you a little information about your uh, app. So the next thing I want to do, even before we do uh, anything else, is get this up live on Heroku. So to do that, I'm going to open up incognito because I'm currently signed into Heroku. Uh, but if you're not, go ahead and uh, sign up. Great thing about Heroku is you can uh, push up to five apps for free. And uh, their service is super, super easy to use. I definitely recommend them. Uh, they're 
kind of pricey, but uh, they're definitely worth the money in my opinion because uh, you don't have to worry about any of the server side stuff. You just pull your app and they deal with the rest. So after you have signed up for an account at Heroku, um, search for Heroku Tool Belt. And then let's uh, go here. You'll need to install the Heroku tool belt in order to push up your app using uh, the terminal. So after you've downloaded this and installed it, uh, you can access Heroku, the Heroku command from the terminal. Uh, you'll want to go to your terminal. Let's go back to my first tab. Uh, you'll want to do Heroku login and enter the uh, information Enter your email and password uh, to log into Heroku, and then authentication successful. Um, from there, we are going to create our Heroku app. So as you can see down at the bottom, you uh, after you create your app, we do uh, Heroku create, and that creates a um, Heroku app for us, and even has a custom subdomain. We're gonna push to Heroku, but there's a uh, one thing we need to do first, open up the application in Sublime by doing a Sublime dot, and that will bring up the app, and then do Command T and search for gem file. Um, real quick, I'm going to remove all these comments because don't need them. So first off, we're going to declare a Ruby version, Ruby 2.1.5 at the top, then uh, down below, we are going to create two groups, group of development, do, end, and then another group of uh, production, do, and end. We are going to grab the SQLite uh, database gem, and we are only going to use that in the uh, production or in the development group. So in development, we'll use the SQLite database. In production, AKA Heroku, there's two gems we need to add. Um, the PG gem, or gem, P, gem PG, and also gem rails underscore 12 factor. Uh, both of these are specific to Heroku. So let's save that, go back to our terminal, and we need to do a bundle install. Go out and fetch those uh, if you do not have them already. And uh, if you're having troubles, try doing a uh, bundle install dash dash without uh, production. And that will make sure to install this in the development group, but it won't actually install these locally because you may have run into issues with that. So after you've done that, uh, restart your server. Just always good uh, practice anytime you do a bundle, restart your server. All right, now we can do a uh, git push Heroku master. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna push um, what we have on GitHub from the master branch to Heroku. So let's hit enter. And this may take a few minutes for you, depending on your internet connection and such. So I'm just gonna fast forward through this part. Hmm, so my push got rejected. Um, an error occurred while installing SQLite 3, one point, and bundler cannot continue. Um, I might have misspelled. Let's go back to the gem file. Development, SQLite 3, I put that in the gr development group. Oh, okay, you know what I did? Um, is I did a bundle install, but the mistake I made is if I do a git s, um, the modifications to the gem file and the gem file.lock, which Heroku was looking for, have not been committed, nor have they been pushed up to uh, GitHub. So let's do a git status. Obviously, we just did that. Let's do git commit uh, dash am with the message of uh, add pg and rails underscore 12 factor gems for Heroku. Now I'll do a git push. Now, if I do another git push Heroku master, this should go through just fine. Again, uh, this may take a few minutes, so I'll fast forward through it. 
There we go. Uh, the Heroku push succeeded. Um, so we can, uh, this is the URL Heroku creates for us. We can copy that or I, you can just do a command Heroku open and this will open in your default browser. Hmm. So the page you were looking for does not exist. So I'm not quite sure what happened. It seemed to uh, push up correctly. Let's look at Heroku logs. Let's see if it throws up an error for us. Okay, so we can see the error we are getting right here. Uh, app or action controller routing error, no routes match uh, git slash and slash is the uh, root of the index. And uh, after a quick Google search, I found that uh, Rails 4 no longer serves the uh, public index um, from the asset pipeline. Um, so I'm just going to move on uh, to uh, first creating some routes in our uh, development and then we'll push back up to uh, Heroku and if we still have issues uh, we will debug and uh, fix that together. So for now uh, let's do a git status. Uh, we are on a clean directory so we are good to go. In the next video we'll create the welcome controller to manage our homepage.